one of the things that uh, the program tries to instill in uh, the people who they're targeting is a sense of something that is known as uh, learned helplessness. Learned helplessness. And if you're not familiar with that term, um, basically what it is is they want to uh, instill a sense that no matter what you do uh, to try and expose the program, uh, that it's, it's not going to matter and that they're going to do it anyway. And so therefore they want to make you feel like, well, any effort to, to, um, to fight against it and to, to do things to expose it is futile. Um, they want to instill that sense within you. Um, and they want to make you think that you're better off just sitting back and letting it happen. Just, just sit back and take it and things will be better and then maybe, well, they'll ease off every now and then. You know, maybe they'll give you a few days where they don't, uh, where they don't do it, right? And you should not fall into that. Uh, it's very dangerous to fall into that trap of learned helplessness, that they, that mentality. Um, now, they may well ease off at certain times. If, if you're exposing it a lot, certainly they're going to uh, up the ante, right? But the alternative, the alternative if you sit back and, not, and do nothing, is that it just gets worse. They will continue to increase the attacks. Now they may give you some times where you get this false sense of hope where, you know, they're easing up, whatever. Uh, that's all a ploy, as I've said before. It's a total ploy. And uh, it's something that they use to make you think that, like, like as if you're some kind of a dog. We'll, we'll give you a reward, see? We'll give you a reward if you're, if you're a good little good little dog and if you just be docile and just let these things happen to you uh, don't fall into that don't fall into that trap if they're targeting you because that's a trap that they want you to fall into and again a lot of this stuff is psychological right they want to instill a sense of hopelessness within you uh, they want you to always they want you to isolate sit at home and be depressed and think that everything's hopeless and what you should be doing is spending all of your time exposing this stuff. Um, because contrary to what they want you to think, it, it is good to do this and it is effective to do this. Um, now they will continue to do it, that's true, because they want you to uh, think that no, even if you do try to expose it, we're going to continue to do it, right? But make no mistake, they don't want you to expose it. They don't, I know that for sure. Um, based on things that I've seen. And uh, I'm not going to go into extensive detail about that right here, but uh, they want you to think that uh, exposing it is futile, and it's not. It is not. But you got to expose it in the right way. you got to focus on the involvement of these corrupt people in law enforcement and these first responders, and do it continually, because that's what makes the program tick. That's what lends it legitimacy. Without their involvement, it would essentially become a criminal operation. It already is that, but these corrupt uh, first responders, as I said, they're there to lend it some flimsy form of credibility. So if they're targeting you, and they, here's another thing you need to understand. This is going to become more and more common as we get towards, uh, move on towards this insane agenda 2030 that they want to push. Um, they're going to start targeting a lot more people. So it, that's another reason why they're putting this information out there. They want it out there. They don't care if people know about it, right? Um, well, they do, okay, so they do care to some extent. I mean, if they're putting it out there with their people, then it's fine with them. But if real people are exposing it in a way that is credible, that they do not want, right? That they do not want. Um, they want to put it out there with their controlled opposition people so that they can control the narrative. and. Uh, guide you in, while giving you some good information, guide you in the direction that they want you to go in incrementally. So they can gradually change your mind by using these people who have gained your trust. Um, so yeah, that's important to understand. And um, learned helplessness. Um, again, intelligence agencies use this a lot. And it's... Uh, 
it's very effective because they want to put you in this sense, they want to uh, impose this sense of futility upon you, that nothing you do will matter, and it's not true. It's not true at all. Um, you can make a positive change, and uh, exposing it is part of that, definitely. Um, now, it doesn't just come with exposing it online. That's not the only way to do it, obviously, because naturally they can do things to combat that, right? To minimize the amount of people who see uh, see it when legitimate people are exposing it. But there's other ways of doing it as well. Like, for example, last year I, I started putting out a whole, whole lot of leaflets. Sorry, it's a little bit loud here. So, for example, last year what I did, uh, I showed this in some of the videos also, was I started, I printed out a whole bunch of these leaflets. And I put them up all over, um, well, the area, the neighborhood where I was living at the time, and also all around where I was working, where they were continually stalking me. And uh, in one of the videos, you could clearly see, like, uh, as I'm putting them up, and what they said was, I remember, uh, it, it said specifically, uh, Toronto Police and Fire Department involved in organized harassment and stalking activities. Um, complicit sorry complicit in organized harassment and stalking activities and literally as i was putting them up you would see fire trucks and police cars just arriving at my location so it's very obvious that they didn't like that and that they didn't want those things put up and that they wanted to send a message so again that is that is effective now they don't want you to know that it's effective they want you to think well we're still going to do it anyway because they <laughs> i mean basically what was they were just confirming what was said in the leaflets. They were prov like just proving what was said in the leaflets by showing up. So uh, literally right while I was doing these things and in an obvious overt way, you, you knew like they didn't have anything to deal with, but they were just showing up there to send a message of intimidation, right? So they don't like that type of thing because with the leaflets, um, they can't control who sees that, right? With the internet, they can do tinker around and do things to control who's going to see the material. So it's important to uh, not just be entirely reliant on the internet to expose it because we don't know how long, there's the fire truck right there, I see. We don't know how long that's gonna be available to us, right? So there they are, the fraud mason stalker fire department, right as I'm talking about them too, right? So, yep, they're going to deal with nothing, uh, just driving by, uh, right, right while I'm talking about this, uh, about how they were showing up uh, when I was putting up the flyers exposing them, they show up right there. So again, that just confirms uh, what they do. So again, they you saw yesterday, they, they were there right as I got off the bus, uh, sending their little message there along with the Masonic Stalker Police. And now that the Fraud Stalker Fire Department uh, actors, the actors who work for the fire department, because that's what they are, they're actors. They don't do real work, uh, just drove by me there. So. You can pretty much see, uh, and again, they're going to sit and uh, right now they're going to go and sit and idle in a parking lot and do nothing until they get called again to show up where a uh, person who they're targeting is, right? So it's all about doing this little thing where only the target, like sending a message to the target, right? So, um, and again, uh, what you do when they do this is just continue to put it up. The more they do that, the more I'm just going to put it up. It's... It, Exposing it is not going to stop. Um, so you should not stop exposing it. Um, and the more they do that, the more brazen and obvious it becomes too, right? So it's it's just, it's a win-win situation to continue to expose it, even if they might do other things to uh, cause problems, so be it. The alternative is that you sit back and do nothing while these people attack you uh, continually, right? Um, so that is not an alternative that I'm willing to uh, accept. And you shouldn't either if they're doing these things to you. Um, but you can see what a joke they are. Like, <laughs> right this moment as I'm talking about these things, they, they just happen to show up there and drive by. Now today, because they did that whole fake thing yesterday, obviously they're not going to do that again in the same place, right in the same area where I'm going, right? So instead they do that little, uh, the little drive-by there. But uh, yeah, now they're going to sit and do nothing and get paid to do nothing for the remainder <laughs> until they're until they're given uh, instructions to go and show up where another target is because they have a lot of people who they're targeting in in Toronto alone. Uh, so yeah, but the problem is very few of those people 
are recording uh, video evidence and putting it out there. Um, and some of that is because a lot of those people are intimidated to do so, right? They're worried about the repercussions of doing so. But you got to understand the alternative, if you don't do that, if you do nothing, is it emboldens these people. It emboldens them with these uh, disgusting, anti, uh, inhumane criminal acts. And uh, you can't give them that, right? Uh, certainly they have a lot of, I mean, they're funded by people with huge... Uh, financial power but that doesn't mean that uh if enough people saw what they were doing uh and were disgusted with it that there wouldn't be significant backlash against these people and that's something that they don't want now having said that again i think we've established uh, those of us who have really looked into these things uh and if you're being targeted you should know this they control huge portions of the population within major cities so that's another reason why they're able to get away with these uh, disgusting act actions. Um, because these people uh, enable these things. And it's very likely, like we don't know with any definitive proof, but you can pretty much reach a, a reasonable conclusion that these people have been paid off. That there's something that has been given to them, so, some sort of a financial incentive, some benefit. Maybe they give them free homes, I don't know. But uh, something has been given to them which has allowed them to set aside their God-given conscience and participate in these activities. And uh, so, yeah. But that's just something, uh, it's very important to understand that because uh, they will try, this is one of the goals of the operation, is to instill a sense of learned helplessness to make you feel like... Uh, any efforts you make to expose it are futile, and I can assure you they aren't. They are not. But, again, it must be exposed in a dignified way. And you need to focus on the right things. And that is their involvement. And, again, they're just giving you the material. Like, they just gave me more material today, right? Very obvious that they showed up there with intent and that they were told to. So, yeah. So that's basically where it's at. You need to... Because... Uh, it must be realized that they're going to start do it's going to become more common th this type of activity as we get more as we sink more and more into literal literal communist tyranny in this country and that is it is going to get worse um you should know that it's going to get worse um they're going to become more emboldened with these activities they're going to do this to more people who they see as dissidents who they see as people who are speaking out um, and who they have these people who have not made the deal with them yet to whatever it is that deal where they get the uh, the free home and they get paid off to participate in these events the stalking uh, and everything else so it's important to know it's going to increase this type of activity that's why exposure of it by real people who they're doing this to is important so that you can refute the uh, the things that are put up by these shills who they funded and put all over the uh, social media sites. Get some camouflage there. Huh? No, there we go. Look really at the timing, huh? Shot of his face too, so his face is going uh, online there. And there's a police car here as well now. So we have an ambulance, a police, a police car there, black police car, and another one right there. So what we've seen just now, just since exiting the train station, within a, a matter of minutes, uh, an ambulance showing up right as soon as I exit, right at the intersection. Uh, two police cars passing by there, and one of the uh, criminal bikers who works along with the operation. Short